here in the i button and description box below you will get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number 2 and in this particular video we are going to start problems on double integrals so welcome to video number welcome to question number 1 in this we are going to evaluate these two problems based on double integrals in previous video that is in video number 1 we have seen three cases on double integrals on which questions are asked so if you see we have first problem that is integral 0 to 5 integral 0 to x square x into x square plus y square dx dy in the second problem we have integral 1 to 2 integral 1 to 3 x y square dx dy if you see in the first problem here we have 0 to x square in the limit it is given that is 0 to x square so we can say this is the limit for y okay here the limit this is the limit of y in that case first we need to write dy okay in this case we need to change this order because this is the limit of y if this is the limit of y this will be the limit of x since this is the limit of y we have to write first dy then dx okay so starting with the first that is let i equals to we have integral 0 to 5 integral 0 to x square we can open this bracket that is x cube plus x y square first we are going to write because this is the limit of y so we need to write first that is dy then we will write dx okay now we are opening bracket and closing the bracket okay because first we will solve this part then after solving this part whatever the expression is left then we will integrate with respect to x whose limit will be from 0 to 5 this will be other approach okay so solving that is integration 0 to 5 yes we, we are integrating with respect to y okay so x will be treated as fixed that is constant so we can write that is x cube y plus x y cube upon 3 limit goes from 0 to x square okay then don't forget to write this dx because we have this integration sign okay now in the next step we can put the limits that is integration 0 to 5 we are putting limits that is 0 to x square in place of y because we have integrated with respect to y and the limits of y ranges from 0 to x square so in place of y we are going to put 0 and x square so x will be as it is that is x cube in place of x, y we will put x square upper limit minus lower limit lower limit is 0 so forget that okay now this is we can close this bracket again here we have x upon 3 x upon 3 in place of y cube in place of y we need to put x square that is x square whole cube okay now we can close this bracket and we will write here that is dx okay now we can solve further that is integration 0 to 5 this is going to be x to the power 5 plus x square cube that is x to the power 6 into x that is x to the power 7 upon 3 okay now dx now from here we will integrate with respect to x whose limit goes from 0 to 5 so this is going to be x to the power 6 upon 6 plus x to the power 8 upon 8 into 3 that is 24 limit goes from 0 to 5 now in the next step we can write that is on applying limits that is 5 to the power 6 upon 6 plus 5 to the power 8 upon 24 because the lower limit is 0 so ignoring that part now we can take common that is 5 to the power 6 5 to the power 6 we are taking common so what is left here that is 1 upon 6 plus 5 square that is 25 upon 24 now we can take calcium that is 24 here it is going to be 4 plus 25 yes you will get 5 to the power 6 into 29 upon 24 let's suppose this is my answer okay because 
if you have calculator you can solve this and then you can write the answer in decimal okay so ignoring that part i am taking this as my final answer okay so we can say we have solved the first problem now we'll come to the second part of the problem that is integration integral 1 to 2 integral 1 to 3 the function is x into y square order is dx dy so we can see what is given that is i equals to integration 1 to 2 again integration 1 to 3 the function is x into y square and the order is dx dy okay now here you can see in this particular problem if you see closely then you will find that is in this particular problem the limits are 1 to 2 and 1 to 3 that is we can say the limits are constant the limits are constant in such cases we will consider this limit of x y because in the order you will see first is dx so in such cases we will never change the order of integration okay we will never change the order of integration since here dx is written so we will say this is the limit for x if this is the limit for x then we will solve this part first then whatever we will get we will solve then for y that is this is the limit for y this is the limit for x and this is the limit for y so we can draw bracket okay now we can say that is 1 to 2 this is we are integrating with respect to x first so we can write that is x square upon 2 y square limit goes from 1 to 3 then we will write d y okay now solving this that is 1 to 2 on putting the limits that is in place of x because we have integrated this part with respect to x so we will put limits in place of x so we can write that is 3 square minus 1 square upon this 2 okay this 2 here then we will draw a bracket and here we have y square then we will write dy okay now solving this integration 1 to 2 this is 3 square that is 9 minus 1 9 minus 1 is 8, 8 upon 2 that is 4. So we can write 4 into y square dy. Now again solving, we are taking this 4 as a constant. Now we will integrate with respect to y. So this is going to be y cube upon 3. Limit goes from 1 to 2. Limit goes from 1 to 2. Okay. Now 4 upon 3. In place of y, we will put limits that is 2 cube minus 1 cube. Fine. Now, here we can write that is 4 upon 3. 2 cube that is 8 minus 1 cube that is 1. So, 8 minus 1 that is 7. So, here we can write 7. Multiply, we will get 4 into 7 that is 28 upon 3. And this is going to be my answer. Okay. So, if you see in the problem, we have 2 good questions in the first problem here we had limit as 0 to 5 and 0 to x square since we had x square here so we can say this is the limit for y if this is the limit for y then first we have to write dy in this case we need to change the order that is dy dx we cannot go like dx dy okay because this is the limit for y so we will write first dy if this is the limit for y this will be limit for x that is x goes from 0 to x square 0 to 5 and y goes from 0 to x square so here we need to write first dy then dx in the second problem we had nothing like here we had a constant okay that is 1 to 2 and 1 to 3 so here in this problem we will never change the order of integration because this dx that means the x limit will be from 1 to 3 and if this is the limit for x then this would be the limit for y that is x goes from 1 to 3 and y goes from 1 to 2 by taking this we will solve the problem so here we can say if the limits are constant if the limits are constant in that case we will not change the order of integration okay so with this i am going to end this video 
in the next video we will be solving this problem okay thank you thank you so much